Hello, good morning class and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Fred. So today we're going to be looking at how to draw an Archimedean spiral. Now there is something you must understand. To draw an Archimedean spiral, you'll be given uh, basically three parameters. Now you'll be given the center of the spiral because you're actually supposed to draw a circle here. Alright? So you'll be given the center, let's call it P, otherwise known as the pole. Alright? You will be given the shortest distance, PB. And the longest, that is the shortest distance from P, PB, all right? And the longest distance from P, PC, okay? So in this case, we have our center here as P, all right? Now we are taking our shortest distance to be 30, all right? So we have 30 there, 30 centimeters, or uh, sorry, yes, 30 millimeters and or 3 centimeters. Then we have our longest distance to be 80 from the center P. So this is what, 80 millimeters or eight centimeters so how do you start you draw a straight line like i've already done all right locate a point on the straight line call it p which is the the pole of the archimedean spiral okay which is also the center of the circle all right so you now measure the shortest distance three centimeters depending on the uh, parameter you've been given all right and the longest distance um 80 centimeters sorry 80 millimeters in this case all right, so let's move on. Now, you place your pair of compass on P. All right? Stretch to C, which is what? 80. And describe a circle. Round it. Like this. All right? Everything is thin line. Okay, so what do you do next? You divide the circle into what? Eight equal parts. You can divide into twelve equal parts. Depends, okay. But eight equal parts would just be enough, all right? So you drop a perpendicular here at the center, P. All right? Then you complete. You extend the line. So we have that four equal parts. So you could also use your 45 degree set square, all right, to draw, um, because this is already 90. So if you use your 45 degree set square, automatically this will be 45, all right? You extend the line out. You do the same for this side. So there you have it, eight equal parts. So you number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so what do you do next? Now, the distance BC, divide this line into eight equal parts, just like you did to the circle, all right? So you divide this line into eight equal parts. So how do you do that? You drop a line, you draw a line angular, at any angle of your choice, all right? Thin line there, all right? So divide this line into eight equal parts. Okay, so there we have it, eight equal parts. You can use any length of your choice, all right? And step off eight equal parts from B, all right? You just step off like that. So you join C to eight, all right? And transfer the rest. Okay, so you transfer from, you place your set square here on this line, support with your ruler. Then you move to seven, okay? and to six and so on okay so there we have it so this is the division eight equal parts so you can call here one prime two prime three prime four prime up to um, eight prime now what you do next you needle at the center of the circle all right now you stretch now this is the this is where the archimedean spiral will start b it will start here b okay and it will end at what at eight prime here all right so you needle on the center do not start from uh the point b okay you start from one okay so you stretch to one now remember this is line one this is line two line three line four and so on okay so when you stretch to one okay you draw an arc from that point to one line one just stop there all right, you will discover that the line is intersecting at this point. So that is the first point. All right, you stretch to two. All right, 
you draw an arc from two and stop at line two. So there is a point of intersection here. There's another point. So you continue like that, you stretch to three. Okay, so here we go. So you have all the points here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, eight is already here. All right, now when you want to start your Archimedean spiral, you start from this point, B, not one. No, you start from here. So you, you have to be very, very careful. Draw clean curve, all right? Thick lines. Remember, everything here, they are thin lines, all right? Up to um, eight. And there you have your Archimedean spiral. So there it is. You could actually use any of a uh, flexible curve, flexible broomstick, or a French curve. So that's an Archimedean spiral.